Hey, Thomas, I need your team to go with King. The battalion as a whole is seizing uh, the airfield. We're going to do an air assault 15 uh, UH-60 Blackhawks will infill us. Uh, we'll have a TAC weapons team in support as well um, on infill. Charlie Company is the decisive operation. That's my sister company. Um, they're tasked with uh, seizing and eventually hopefully capturing a high value target. Um, our company, Bravo Company, will be up to the north securing the HLZ and securing the airfield as a whole. It's going to be the largest um, air assault that's been conducted, at least in the 82nd, in quite some time. Um, when you look at the amount of aircraft that they're committing to the package. Obviously the air um, battalion commander can speak probably uh, to that specifically, but 15 UH-60s, um, rarely if ever seen in the 82nd Airborne specifically. We're airborne, not really air assault, um, but certainly a, an asset that we'd love to employ and certainly an asset that we have employed in the past. Um, so it's something that we've never seen to this scale, a battalion air assault um, with approximately 165 or so packs in the air at one time with air weapons support, a forward FARP, um, an entire aviation task force in support of an entire battalion infantry task force is this particular exercise we're going out with capability set 15. Uh, so the net warrior concept, the digital capability and the network architecture uh, vastly different from our traditional legacy systems, the SINGAR, FM, um, push to talk type of radio systems. This new system um, and its entire node allows us to see digital information from one another. Um, so essentially every team leader in this particular operation will be carrying a radio system uh, that talks on a waveform that allows us to pass digital information back and forth. So we can send text messages, uh, we can see each other's locations without necessarily pushing the radio and asking for their location. Uh, we're able to share that information across a, an entire battalion um, and eventually what we're looking to do specifically on this mission is pass that information into what we call the upper tactical intranet and that's going to be able to broadcast it into the uh, satellite feed um, that we'd be able to see back at a brigade talk that's offset by hundreds of miles. Jumpability and a typical airborne operation, the lower tactical intranet is jumpable. We've jumped to 154s, we've jumped embitters, I've jumped my kit with the EUD, um, we've jumped to 155s with my RTO, um, heavy, yes, Several batteries, absolutely. Additional equipment to charge those batteries, yes, part of the package. So we can establish a lower tactical internet today in an airborne operation, but that's as far as it goes. Connecting that lower tactical internet to an upper tactical internet, where it really becomes advantageous for a, a battalion and a brigade, is still our difficulty.